I found that one of the most interesting aspects of cannibalism in the animal kingdom was cannibalism as parental care. There's a great example of parental cannibalism that takes place in these legless amphibians called Sicilians. Some of them lay eggs and others give birth to live young. And the ones that are egg layers, when the eggs hatch, these hatchlings had been reported to squirm all over their moms. Years later, somebody took a look at that and what they discovered was that not only were they squirming over their mothers, but they were grabbing onto her skin and peeling her like a grape. The outer layer of these mother Sicilians was fat laden and rich with nutrients. So this was something that has evolved as a form of parental care. Now you look at the species that give birth to live young, and what they found was that the lining of the oviducts had been eaten away in the places where the young were developing. So the Sicilians were feeding on the oviductal lining of their moms. Maybe my favorite example in the animal kingdom of cannibalism as parental care comes from a local species called the sand tiger shark. Their eggs are hatched internally, and there are different stages of eggs. The oldest of the fetuses that hatch starts to consume the eggs that are found in the oviduct, and when he gets done with those, they start to feed on the younger fetuses. In a sense, they have already undergone trial by fire. They're, they're, they're already predators when, they, when they're born.